Today we're talking about TV dinner trays. We're starting this off. We got a stewardess here with a tray full of food. Uh, TWA being very progressive with their tagline. What does a man like for dinner at 20,000 feet up? Uh, this is an image from back in the day of, uh, of airline food. Airline food certainly... Uh, by all accounts, is not what it used to be. Uh, look, they even got like a stuffed olive there. I mean, this is this is some gourmet stuff for the for whatever era this is. Um, TV dinners, the type that you eat at home, uh, come from the airlines because originally bird's eye was providing the airlines with frozen food combinations that could be heated up and served to people and that eventually led to swanson creating the tv dinner we're not talking about the dinners today though we're talking about the trays trays like this so we're going to be talking about tv dinner trays uh this is going to be a lot of fun you're going to be very pointlessly nostalgic for this so please click thumbs up below also click subscribe tell a friend and let's go all right uh, people sitting around the TV, watching their 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 favorite shows, eating their their favorite foods, but they got to move the whole table into the uh, into the dining into the TV room. No good. No, you can't move your dining room table. Uh, this mom had an idea. She put like a little. Uh, maybe it's a. Uh, there's. They seem like they're sitting on a tuffet. <laughs> <laughs> which only Little Miss Muffet had sat on previously, but now I learned that's that's a covered footstool. So that's what they're sitting on. And then they're sitting at a very low table, like an end table. has a nice checkered uh, tablecloth on it. Very lovely. All right. So this brings us to the tray. And, and no better way to start than with this weirdly nostalgic photo of uh, President Ronald Reagan, his wife Nancy, some incredible drapes that match the furniture. Uh, I There's a lot I love about this picture. Um, I think Nancy Reagan always wore red. Ronald wearing uh, red in this. There's I mean, he's dressed like Gilligan, actually. <laughs> like This would be great if, if he was just playing. Yeah, maybe they were doing like the White House Christmas party, and he's like, "Well, Tip O'Neill's going to be the skipper." Um, yeah, so this this is an interesting photo. I wanted to show this. They are sitting watching television with their TV trays. These are high class presidential TV trays. But we're going to be talking about other trays, the type like this though, that would be freestanding. You could move them, you could fold them, and you could eat your your food off of them. Uh, look at these things, man. This looks like uh, the ones that were on the set of All in the Family. I believe if you watch All in the Family, this is the ones that uh, they had off to the side in like their dining room area that's in between their living room and their kitchen. A lot of people had this type of thing. And use of very patriotic imagery was really popular going into 1976. We were getting close to our uh, bicentennial. And so people were, you know, really using a lot of the, the flag, the eagle, that kind of thing. And so this uh, definitely of that era, this is one type. Looks like this one would come apart and then, you know, stack, you'd get stacked stack them like that. You pull them out when you needed them. They'd kind of sit in the corner. Uh, here's a cool one. I saw this one and I thought somebody had taken a Pac-Man TV dinner tray and cut a hole in it and put some kind of LCD screen. And this was like a playable game, but it's not. This is the TV tray that they put out in the eighties. It had a screenshot of the game. Uh, whoever was was playing, uh, their score was like 900 and something. Let's see if we can read it. But there, yeah, 460. Uh, but the high score, 1240. And I have no idea what significance either of those numbers are, but uh, might be. I mean, there's probably somebody out there that's like, come on, don't you know anything? Namco's address was 960 1240 Street. Uh, but that could be done today. And this one has interesting legs, by the way. But this could be, you could really convert this today. I'm not sure why you would, but you could. And that's why you should. Uh, all right. This is a WWF Superstars one. This might have been the lap version. We'll talk about the lap version of these trays a little later. But uh, I just want to look at this. You got the big boss man, the ultimate warrior, front and center, almost equally in size, but smaller Hulk Hogan. 
uh, on the on the image on this. I mean, if you just look at their perspectives, Hogan appears to be in front of the warrior, yet the warrior appears like his head is twice as big as Hulk's. Uh, but Hulk is showing us those 24-inch pythons. Uh, Texas Tornado over there, Kerry Von Eric just looks lost. He don't know what's going on. He's trying to figure out where to go. But this looks like the lap version. We'll we'll talk about those. Here's an Annie uh, and Sandy one. They put to, it's the movie Annie, the movie version, I believe. Uh, I don't know that. So if this is the movie, that would be Andrea McCardle, uh, as Annie. And, uh, what does it say down here? It says Tribune Company. So that and Columbia Pictures. Okay. So that, yeah. Okay. That's her. Yeah. That's the little girl from the Annie movie. Uh, Sarah Jessica Parker had played her on Broadway, uh, as, as did a lot of people. It's a very popular show on Broadway before it made its way to, uh, uh, to, to theaters everywhere. Um, I believe I got that name right. Andrea McCardle. I think she's like a rock and roll performer now. Um, but there's Annie and Sandy, Sandy the dog. Uh, I dug that movie. That movie was a lot of fun. I saw Annie on, uh, not Broadway. I saw it on Hollywood Boulevard. I saw it performed uh, with who? Mackenzie Phillips from One Day at a Time playing Miss Hannigan. Um, it was pretty good. I have the program somewhere. I, I enjoyed seeing it, but it was at the... Uh, at the theater, all the way down at the end by past Vine Street, the one with the rainbow room. Not the, not, what is it called? It's got like a funny name. It'll come to me. I'll, I'll try to remember before the end. If you know, let me know in the comments. But I, it's down by the rainbow room. It's, uh, it's like towards the very end of the Walk of Fame. Uh, but I can't think of the name right now. But big theater there. Oh, look, E.T. And she's kissing. She's giving him a big old smooch. That's uh, Drew Barrymore as, as Gertie. Uh, here we got Mickey Mouse juggling his friends. Uh, there's a joke there. I'm just not sure what it is. Uh, oh, this one. I actually have this one. Uh, so this one says Magic Kingdom. But if you look at the castle in the background, that's the Disneyland castle. Uh, prior to the Magic Kingdom opening in Florida, they called the one in, in California the Magic Kingdom. They still do sometimes. Like sometimes if you're on the boat or something, it'll be like, welcome to Disneyland's Magic Kingdom. Uh, but this, uh, they generally don't refer to uh, this park anymore as the Magic Kingdom. They certainly, I don't think, would put out something like this today that says Magic Kingdom on it, unless it was some kind of throwback item. And I think this really kind of, the change kind of took place around uh, when Epcot came out. I think it became one of those things where you have two Magic Kingdoms, so to specify, and as you know, the world has, has really opened up. I mean, in the, when I was younger, it was most people that were on the West coast, didn't go visit the East coast and vice versa. And now I think if you're a Disney fan, you usually get out a couple times and check out this place because it is great. Uh, let's take a look at the characters we got on here. We got the, the three little pigs over there. We've got, uh, uh, the, the, the big bad wolf is hanging out there with honest John and, and, um, Gideon. There's a uh, dopey. There's some dwarves there. Uh, Goofy striking a pose, man. That's great, man. Pluto, Alice in Wonderland characters. I mean, that's a good trade. But yeah, I have one of these. So uh, there you go. Magic Kingdom. Superman 2 in tray form. That's pretty great. And here's one with the Smurfs. Let me tell you, so about these trays. So instead of having those long legs, these ones had real short legs. And you were supposed to fold it and put it right on your lap. And you would sit way back on the couch and eat over it as a kid. But then you'd have to call your mom to come get it. Like they'd have to set it down and then they'd have to pick it up. Because as a kid, your dexterity, you couldn't, you couldn't lift things up. Uh, off your lap like that. It was just out of control. But you'd sit way back on the couch. They're, they kind of don't work as, as adults because even if you have skinny legs and your legs aren't too big, which usually most adults, your legs are going to be too too big to get those things down. But even if your legs are fine, you can't slide back as far as you can when you're a little kid. And so you can't lean forward over that tray. But these are nice. You can still use these. Just fold the legs under if you have one. You can use it on your lap. They're fun. Uh, here's one with Popeye. Popeye's got his spinach. He's like, eh, whatever crap you're eating on there on this tray is not as healthy as this. Uh, Bluto's just walking around with bombs in the background, and uh, Popeye's not saving her. He's like posing with it. He's doing like a photo shoot for Spinach Weekly or something. I don't know what's going on. All right, uh, I like these. They're they're like denim. These are like the stand up ones. I do have a set, not of these, but I have a set of uh, stand up 
ones in this exact shape in my uh, dining room. And I put them over in the corner. They got this great mid-century look. And then when company comes over, you can pull them out. You, if you want to eat in front of the TV, it's great. Uh, these I like because they look like, like denim jeans. So it feels like you're just eating your dinner on somebody's butt. All right, let's see. Uh, oh, so the last thing I wanted to talk about with tray tables is the motion picture Light of Day. This is a movie starring Michael J. Fox and um, who is the rock and roll? Was it? Uh, I don't remember. It was was it Joan Jett? I think it's I think it's Michael J. Fox and Joan Jett in this movie. But I, I'm not a hundred percent. I saw it once, uh, maybe about ten years ago. Really liked it. It's a big change of pace from like Back to the Future, Michael J. Fox, though. But in this movie, during the opening credits, you can see right in the middle there, that's Michael J. Fox, and he's pushing a like a platter or whatever of legs for tray tables. You can see other leg legs in the background. And they show a factory here that was actually producing tray tables. So here's another shot from the movie, and you can see it's Princess Diana and Charles, uh, who were a famous couple. You know, they got married or they got divorced eventually but this would have been right around the time they were married and it shows these being pressed and pulled off the line which was super cool to be able to see that you can buy these these did exist uh it says here uh commemorative 1881 which i'm pretty sure is not the correct year uh, i think it's it's much later maybe they got married in in 1981 maybe uh but who cares whatever that number i don't know what that guy's talking about but i can tell you these tray tables do exist these are the lap style ones and uh in the movie they were making them and then i noticed this on ebay so if you want a super cool prop uh, this looks like this would have been a production gift. It says uh, light of day and it's got the, the tray table there. Um, and this is uh, just around the corner to the light of day. And I'll show you Michael J. Fox. He is here. I found him right there. You should be able to, ah, he flew away. You should be able to see him uh, center top of your screen there. He's, uh, he's moving to the right to the center. There you go. There's Michael J. Fox. But you got like the cast and crew and it says down here directed by and it has the director i think it's paul schrader uh, but yeah this looks like this was some kind of a prop uh, uh not prop like a crew gift like if you were on the cast and crew for light of day uh i don't know maybe you know if you worked in that factory scene maybe they pressed out a few dozen of these and handed them around so uh this looks like a real good collectible though if you were a big fan of that movie uh you know 70 bucks 70 bucks, you could be eating all the time off that. You spend another 30, you get this one. Yeah, that's pretty good. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed this. I'm Guy Hutchinson. I'll see you next time.